Hello, hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm pleased to have you aboard in today's tutorial. We'll take a look at the main upfront annunciator panel. It's the primary warning system and nerve center in the ASM 3D Citation C560 XL Aircraft 4 X plane. But first, some facts about the panel. It should be fun to learn about. 99% of the enunciators are hooked into the aircraft systems. The few that are not implemented are for things not really available in the jet, like the radome fan as an example. But be assured, every warning that makes the jet 95% real works authentically. The inconsequential ones not working are listed in the online POH. Now glass covers every one of the 42 windows and the lettering reflects sunlight for added brightness. Now that's attention to detail there. Each enunciator is lighted with advanced customized real 3D lights. There are no 2D lit textures here. There are some that are dual color lettered and, and so too are the lights in those enunciator windows. The surrounding glow that you see is from real light reflections which mix and interact with their surroundings. And all these real 3D lights contribute to the C560XL spectacular night flying experience and we think this is a big differentiator for this aircraft. If you want more, watch our inside walkabout informational for more examples of the real 3D lights that you will find everywhere all over this aircraft. Now each window may monitor the left or right side of a function or it may be split to serve two separate functions. But in practical terms, all this means is that the enunciator panel monitors and provides visibility into over 90 possible realistic fault displays on that panel and it is 100% authentic. What you really want to see is a dark and quiet board and that means there are no faults and no warnings. Now I won't review how to manage each and every single fault that's all covered in the POH in the Annunciator Panel Details section. So search on the page for that. Annunciator Panel Details. What I will mention here is that the colors of the warning lights are significant and important to flight safety and your flight experience. So let's quickly look at them. You will find three red annunciators on the top left corner. Now, if one of these light up, they will also trigger flashing cancelable master warnings and they need to be dealt with immediately or as soon as possible as they pose a significant flight safety risk. Take them very seriously. These enunciators will only go out once the underlying malfunction is resolved. Now you may have already noticed that in addition to the red enunciators, the aircraft also displays amber and white worded and colored alerts. Steady amber indicators are usually a sign of one or two things. Uh, the first one being the system is functioning and working normally. So the enunciators are just saying that something is running and they're usually not accompanied with master caution lights. Those enunciators usually go out once the system has done its work or they are turned off or it's turned off. Now the second state is that a steady enunciator can also be an alert that a system is incorrectly set up for the current flight situation. If this happens, you will also notice and see a master caution light. It can be canceled but the enunciator will not go out until the underlying cause for the enunciation is not first fixed. But what if only the enunciator blinks? That's also a sign that a system is incorrectly set up for the current flight phase or situation. In this case, we see flashing pitot heater enunciators because the pitot heat switch is off and when the throttles are advanced N1 past 45%, those enunciators will begin to blink to get your attention, which is basically like saying, hey, I need to be turned on if you are going to be throttling up to go flying. Uh, by the way, this is another reason to not advance the throttles too much during taxi, so keep that N1 in check. 
You may also see blinking amber annunciators along with lighted master caution and master warnings. These are a little more serious and need your attention. As an example, as I turn both engine generators off, what we see is a steady non-cancelable master caution and also a flashing master warning. The red warning is telling you that the avionics are now running on the main battery power and while this may not be an immediate problem, it is a long-term flight safety risk. In this case, the blinking master warning is cancelable to become steady, signifying that you are aware of the alert, which also turns the blinking annunciators to steady and they will all remain lighted until the generators are brought back online and when that happens and the conditions return to normal, all the upfront annunciators will wink out. So in addition to giving us information, the annunciators are also interconnected in very realistic and authentic ways. For example, a stab miscompare, which is the stabilizer miscompare with the flaps position, that annunciation will also cause a hydraulics annunciation display because the hydraulics are working during the operation to move both the flaps and the stabilizer. You'll sometimes see that the hydraulics annunciation will also wink on once in a while all by itself. That's quite normal and it's because the hydraulic pumps are turning on occasionally to maintain pressure in the various systems that need hydraulics to operate. And finally, white annunciators are for information only. Here's a simple example. A white annunciator is informing us that the speed brake is deployed. Please remember to refer to the online POH for details about each of these annunciators and more importantly how to resolve all the faults that they are telling you about. Now in addition to the annunciator panel, there are a number of other alerts or malfunctions which will trigger warning lights in the aircraft's annunciator systems that you will see outside of the main annunciator panel and elsewhere in the cockpit and even in the main uh, cabin and lab area. Now the annunciator you will probably notice and monitor the most uh, and that's not part of the main annunciator panel are uh, positioned just to the right and left of it and these are the three reverser status lights. These will trigger when the reversers are being operated. By the way, as a safety feature, these can only be deployed once there is weight on wheels or WOW for short. Of course, they are authentically timed to match the reverse extension and retraction opening and closing times, which is about one and a half seconds. Just a bit further inboard are the engine fire warning lights, which we hope you'll never have to see. That's some serious stuff to deal with. But if you want a glimpse of an engine fire scenario, uh, watch our outside tutorial if you've not already had the chance to do that. There are other little alert or get your attention lights to be found all over the cockpit. So pay attention to them when they light up or change. Uh, they're all providing you information, like looking at the customized angle of attack annunciation lights that provide speed and angle feedback during approaches. Or like this one which lights up when the aircraft reaches Minimum. minimums. Or like this one when the APU is running, but its generators are not turned on yet. Or this little guy who shows off his colors when the standby power test is being run as you run through the checklists in preparation for takeoff. Uh, you do use the checklists all the time, yes? Mm, you should. Now, enunciations can also be used to highlight choices pilots make, like when setting DME source options or when using the communications panel and changing comm channels or when making sure the ELT is off before you take off. There are many lighted annunciations all over the cockpit and they are yours to discover and as always the online POH is your friend to learn about what they are telling you or how to resolve a problem if indeed that is the case. Annunciation lighting extends into the cabin as well, like the status of the door lock pins which display red when the door is open, or yellow when it's locked. Or in the XP-12 version, the water heater choices passengers have in the lav. 
Wait, what do you mean you did not see these before? <laughs> yes, there's a lot to discover in this aircraft, so please look around. Anyway, what all these mean and how you deal with them are in their appropriate flight or process video tutorials or in the online POH. Remember to use page find in the online POH, but for this discussion, know that you will find annunciations and warning lights all over the aircraft. And remember, they are all, without exception, they all use real 3D lights only. There are no fake 2D painted on light highlights anywhere in this aircraft. And finally, this dial, the rotary test dial. It triggers customized and completely authentic systems, tests, and annunciations. There are 12 actual stops on this dial, but the last one, number 12, is actually a spare, so it does nothing. This test is part of the checklist, and to know what each station does, please refer to the online POH and search for rotary test dial. That's the phrase to search for, rotary test dial. That section details what each test does, their timing, what lights are triggered, etc., etc. And when running these tests in XP-12, or when these conditions occur for enunciation in the cockpit while flying, you will hear recorded sounds from the real jet. So 100% authenticity and realism here. So happy flying, may your panel always be dark and quiet. Good day.